Good morning, my IGF students. I'm happy to be able to continue our education in the distance. Today, we're going to review how do we solve multi-step equations. We did it right before we had a break, but we are going to have a review. So, uh, for this lesson, you will need a calculator, a pencil, and your worksheet. If you don't have it, pause the video and come back. I want you to fill the worksheet as we, as I work over here. So now that you have your worksheet, the steps to solve multi-step equations. Please write your name so I can read it and the date. The steps to solve, you have, there are four boxes. Two, three, and four. This is what you are going to write there. And the first one is you need to distribute distribute if necessary and you write over here this is what it looks like in your worksheet Second step is combine, combine like terms. Like we put the x's together and the numbers together, right? Step number three is move variables to one side. because now we are looking at variables on both sides. And the fourth step is solve. And how we solve? We undo the operations, right? We use the opposite, the inverse operation. If we have addition, we subtract. If we have multiplication, we divide and vice versa. Okay, now let's work on our problems. If you didn't have time to copy all the steps to solve the multi-step equations, just go backwards and ask your staff to pause it so you can copy the steps on your worksheet. Um, the bin, maybe Sarah and maybe Nick. I will add an extra worksheet with more challenging multi-step equations that you have to actually write on your own, are not given, that you need to write and solve. Um, but that's up to you. You can choose to do this worksheet with everyone else or the extra one that I will put under the name of the bin. Okay, problem number one. How we solve these multi-step equations? Step one, distribute. I don't have distribution. Remember that distribution is when we have a parenthesis in the number and we need to multiply by the first term and the outside by the second term. No distribution. Number two, combine like terms. Over here, I cannot combine any other wise or number. And this other side of the equal, I cannot combine. So we can go to step number three, which is move variables to one side. Since I like to move, have my variables on my left, I'm going to get rid of that, this three y. Variables is the unknown. I'm going to get rid of the three y by doing the opposite operation. A negative three will do, undo. And I need to do that on both sides. This will eliminate the y's, my variable on this side. And over here are two. 5y minus 3y gives me two y's. I bring down the minus 8, put the equal, and over here I only have the 12 left. Step number four is solve. Now I need to solve for y. Leave y by itself and move everything else to the other side. So I'm going to move this minus 8. The inverse of negative is positive. So I'm going to put plus 8 here and plus 8 on both sides. I bring down the 2y. Here I brought down the minus 8. So 2y minus 8 plus 8. They cancel each other. Is equal 12 plus 8. That gives me a 20. 
I still have the two. I need to get rid of that two. Since there is no symbol between two and y, it's multiplication. And the inverse of multiplication is division. So I'm going to divide by two, both sides. This cancel these two, and I am left with a y by itself, and 20 divided by two is 10. Here you have number one. Let's pause any time that you need, so you can copy. Okay, let's do number two now. Number two, distribute. There is no distribution. Remember distribution is right over here. There is no distribution here. Combine like terms. No, no numbers, no variables, no more x's here or numbers, no more x's here or numbers. So step number three, move variable. I will leave the six minus six x and I will get rid of this x. To undo minus eight a, I'm going to put a plus eight x on both sides. If you put negative six plus eight in your calculator, you will get a two x. Don't remember the x. I bring down the plus 14, plus 14, I copy the equal, I bring down this 12, and this x cancel each other. Now I need to solve for x, so I need to get rid of that plus 14, and the opposite of plus is negative. I'm going to put negative 14 on both sides. I can bring down the 2x, these two get cancelled, and it's equal, put in calculator 12 minus 14, and that will give you a minus 2. Or you can put, yeah, no, just leave that, 12 minus 14. Now, the 2 is multiplying x, since there is no symbol in between, the inverse of multiplication is division. A fraction is a division. Let's divide both by 2, both sides. That way the 2 get cancelled, because 2 divided by 2 is 1. So I am left with only 1x, and that x is equal to, put negative 2 divided by 2. And that will give you a negative 1. I hope that helps. I will see you next class and we will do um, solve multi-step equations with fractions with long lines. And then we will move on to another subject. I think you will like it. Have fun. Call me, text me, email me if you need any help. I am available. Stay safe.